Hello Luigi Noids, this is Luigi X Rules, playing Paper Mario Sticker Star. In the last episode, we finally, finally finished World 3. It's been so long in the running, I'm going to sneeze soon, but, and I don't have a tissue nearby, that's a problem. And, okay, maybe not, but in this episode, we're going to go to a place that we have not gone to in forever. World 2. The next level in World 2 is Sand Shifter Ruins. If you remember, I just, after we beat World 2 here, 2-2, the Yoshi Sphinx, I just kind of stopped. So let's go on to the next level, Sand Shifter Ruins. Yes, we get to hear this awesome desert music. The music in this game is so good, at least people seem to agree on that. Oh, hey, there's a block there. Ah! Spikes. Get out of here. I guess this is a new enemy, right? I don't think we've seen the regular spike. Alright, I have plenty of shiny shells that I could use. Now, this is even earlier in the game than World 3, so these enemies are not going to be the strongest things in the world. That was probably way overkill. But whatever. We still got that perfect bonus. We need a lot of those. Now, um... I'll just let you know right now, you do want to, um, fight the spike. These guys are completely optional. But yeah, you do want to fight the spike, because, well, I'll show you. Alright, uh, nope, I can't show you yet. Alright, what you got here? A line jump? Really? <laughs> that much secret? Huh. The fact that they give us a heal block is a bit worrying. Huh. I the point of this down here is. Can we... Paper eyes? No. Alright. Seems pointless. So let's enter the level. Welcome to Sand Shifter Ruins. A.K.A. One of my least favorite levels in the game. Has its own unique theme, which is cool. But trust me, this level is very, very annoying. Basically, the whole concept is there's all these different paths you can go on. Including this way. Just a slap hammer. I guess I'll take it. We're not gonna get very many good stickers around here. If you stand on this, then it just takes you back. There's not much point to that. Alright, now let's go to where this paratrooper is. Huh. Last time we one of these was the required boss. I guess there's not really much of interest here. Alright, that's done. We got an iron jump. Let's take the shiny jump. Before the one we lost. So we can go down here with these cracks. Looks like we got even more options. Jeez. Uh, there's not appear to be anything over here besides that slap hammer. Here's another spike. And, huh. Alright, well, I don't see any point in fighting you. So let's just, um, fall down. There we go. Oh, there. Paratrooper. Try to jump over you. That's weird, those two sand thingies take us to the same place. Well, whatever, let's just go through the store, see what's going on. Ooh, looks like we got a pathway over here, for one. Uh, maybe I'll explore that later, actually. For now, here's another concept of this. It's a maze, but also, there's these coffins that we can open. And there's something wrapped up inside. In this case, a pal block. Alright, whatever. In this case, a sombrero guy. Gotta watch out. Because there's these dry bones. But they can get crushed by the... That sarcophagus thingy, so there actually is a way to completely kill off the- Is that just a bunch of bot hammers? I don't want a bunch of bot hammers. Over there... Ooh, ten coins, I'll take. Alright. Um... Wait for that to disappear. Okay, burn hammer and shell hammer are much more worth it. Alright, now that we're done with that room, let's check out what's over here. The dry bones, it looks like. And, uh, this path down here. Let's see if I can hit this block from up here. Just a line jump. 
Why are they giving us such useless stickers? I suppose, then again, this is World 2, remember? So... Ugh, I guess you gotta expect things to be slightly easier. There's gotta be a pin block there. Jeez, please. Well, I guess open this up. See what's inside. There's a lot of dry bones here, and that's scaring me. E camera? <laughs> Jeez Louise. Oh! Uh, that's just a straight up HP up heart. I'll take it. We do need to collect all of those. I did remember that there was one in this level. I didn't think it was that easy to collect, though. Alright. Got this here. More HP. Don't need it though, I just picked up an HP up heart. And what's in here? Top slipper. Eh, okay. Looks like I can use those useless stickers on some of the enemies over here. Oh, okay. Where's this? Don't recognize this place. Eh, ow. Alright, Spike, you gotta pay for that. Ah! No, I don't want to get that door. Ugh. This level's so annoying. So many doors everywhere, so many paths that I can never remember which one is the right one. You can hammer those spike balls, though. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Um, shiny hammer will make up for the one that I lost. Uh, there are multiple ways we can go here, but uh, let's go this way first. Ooh. Uh, not sure what the point of that is, if they both just lead to the ah, same area. Alright, well... Oh! Yep, there's the spike ball. That's why I said you should fight the spike. You get an enemy exclusive sticker for fighting the spike. In the spike ball. So now that we're done with that, um... Let's go through this door before we go back up. Oh, there's the secret door. That's kind of easy to find, but again, this is, after all, the first world. Just stick that there. Now let's try and enter it. There we go. He entered it. Oh, hello there, lighter. You know, that probably would have been very helpful for the, um, that snowy boss in World 4. Looks like it would be a fiery thing. Hmm. Alright, well, looks like there's not much to do. Oh, gosh, what the heck is up with that paragoomba? Well, we can peel that Bowser tape off. I don't really need to fight any spikes anymore. Ooh, frog suit. Interesting. This is, this is, what is that, like the second frog suit you can find outside of a level? I mean, I guess I'll take it. I do need to show off the frog suit sometime. Uh, didn't appear to be anything else in this room, so let's just exit this door. Hello there, hammer brother. Ah! That battle's one and done. I'll take a jump, sure, and fight you. Wow, between the jackpot on the spinner and that, I guess I don't really need to be getting- Oh. Uh... Nothing else over here, so I guess that means that this path is done, then. <coughs> Sorry about that. But... I'd say we're done with this path. Why is that Goomba so aggressive? <laughs> that Paragoomba. Alright, looks like it's time for us to go back up to the surface and restart this annoying level. You'll see why it's annoying shortly. It's very... I can never remember which way is the right way to go. I've played this game several times and I still don't know which way is the right way. Okay, so this takes us to a new area, actually. Hmm. Alright, let's try getting over here. Okay, it's weird, there's a tilted coffin over here. Open that. Um, pull this to get a regular jump. Okay then, uh, regular line jump. Okay, but seriously, what is the point of this coffin being pushed over? That's weird. There's this thing, but it looks like um, there might be a path behind it here. Oh, another thing! The magnifying glass. 
Oh, that one wasn't even behind a secret door. Alright, um... What's behind this? Ah! Dry bones. Alright, is that all that was in the store? That's fine. Um, if I were to guess, this probably takes us down to a path that we've already been in. So, oh, I guess I have to go down anyway. Yeah, I thought it took us somewhere like here. Let's go down this way this time. Oh. This is a somewhat new area. Uh, let's try down here first. Um... Oh, is it just here? Alright. You don't have to see me go through the same path over and over again. I'll just cut to when I'm back down. Alright, back down here. Now I'm gonna go to the right again. So that we can, this time, go to the left. This looks like a slightly new area. Actually, is it new? No, this is just where that other path leads. Okay, well then what's down here? Alright, um... Long fall. Um, okay, so looks like we're trying to get over there somehow. And is that is that another thing? Wow, that would mark t that would mark two things that are outside of the secret door. If you can include the secret door, that's three things in this level so far, which is quite a bit actually. Normally things are like. I gotta say, like, oftentimes, let's let's try going right again. This time, let's go right again, again. So yeah, the last time we saw a level with this many things in it was. Uh, all right, so there's a new place we can go. Last time we saw a level with this many things in it was um, the Enig Mansion. All right, now back to this annoying level. It's all about constantly going down paths, always forgetting which ones are the- oh! Okay, so it looks like if we go that way again, then we get to go through that door. Oh, but this one has torches by it, too. Alright, got through it again. Ooh, we got a spike ball and a shiny hammer, so maybe you'll get to see- show off what the spike ball does. Anyway, this door has two torches beside it. Also looks like we can climb up here. What the heck would be the purpose of that, though? Um, oh, there's spikes there, that would do it. Alright, well we got a bunch of coffins that we still have to see what's inside of them. Well, that's an oddly shaped mummy. Uh, is that another thing? That makes four things in this level. I mean, it's not as much as the, um... Enig Mansion, which has like five things in it, but four things in one level is quite a bit, actually. So what's in these other ones, then? Ooh, shiny power block. I'll take it. Good to have shiny things, even though you can easily buy them. Is this gonna be like a dry bones or something? Oh no, another shiny power block. Hmm. Maybe I should use them. Problem, though, is that there's a lot of flying enemies in this area. Some are low altitude, some are high altitude. Go through here, hello there, dry bones. Oh gosh, they're falling from the ceiling. Yikes, that's gonna be annoying. Just gotta keep on going. Okay, it was just one dry bone, so not that big of a deal. Give me a worn out hammer. Why the heck would it give me a worn out hammer? I'm not gonna get a worn out jump. Oh! This is the end of the level. Then what's behind that other thing? You know, actually, on the world map, it does look like there's two exits to this level, so that's probably why. Hmm. Alright, well, yeah, obviously, again, tons of coins here. Um, you know, here's something I'm considering. Like, yeah, that'll take us on to this next level here. Um, 2-5 Drybake Stadium. But, here's the thing, uh, I might just go ahead and sling some of these things so that we have enough to donate to the museum, and then I'll end off the episode, because, well, I guess you'll see next time. Sorry if this is a bit shorter than most, and sorry also to leave you on a cliffhanger for the Sand Shifter Ruins. I think I got through that in record time, though. 
gosh, I hate the sand shifter ruins, but whatever. In the next episode, we will be going back there, but for now, I am going to go sling some things and donate to the museum. Alright, so this video might actually end up being quite short because of all the battles I cut out, but trust me, the next video would have been too short, too, if I didn't just end it off here and get the ne the second comment in this level in the next episode. Or maybe it wouldn't have, uh, whatever. Either way, in the next episode, we will be going back to Sandshifter Ruins and then collecting the sticker comet. We can go straight to 2-5, but I think now I'm finally going to go in the order that they intend to. So that's the plan for the next episode. Until next time, goodbye.